Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, so glad to be back here with you. Today we're taking a look at the Flysky i6S and we're talking about the endpoints. Endpoints are really helpful for limiting the maximum travel of, for example, a servo. So we have our little demonstration airplane here. And I think probably uh, a good example here is going to be for the elevator. So we have the elevator right here. It's moving up and down. And you can see that it actually, it moves a lot. Like it's moving up and down quite a bit. In fact, it's it's moving down quite a lot. And when, when we push the stick forward and move the elevator, uh, and the elevator's going down, that means that the nose of the airplane is going to point down and you're gonna go into a nose dive. So maybe you want somebody who's a beginner to try and use this airplane, but you don't want so much down, nose down throw, what we can do is we can limit that. So in the transmitter here, we can get into our menu and in the uh, function menu, right there, the second from the top is endpoints. And you can see we have 100% and 100%. The, the left column is minimum and the right column is maximum um, and so and that'll kind of depend like on your how you have your servos set up which direction is which but so for example uh, for this for this we're going to be using uh, channel 2 for our elevator right here if we're pushing the stick forward the elevator goes downward which means our nose would point down and so if we want to limit that one thing I like to do is just pu put the stick all the way forward in that position um, so then I can d decide what I want my maximum deflection to be. So in this case, we're going to click on channel two and we're going to click on like the, the it, well, it says negative amount. And we're actually going to decrease this. So we're basically going to limit the amount that the uh, servo moves in that direction. So I'm just swiping down on the on the numbers to decrease them. I'm not sure if you can quite tell, but the servo is moving uh, quite a bit. So let's make, let's say it's like 30%. Press OK or press the check mark. So now when we, when we look at this, we can see that the elevator is barely moving. So it's barely moving in that downward direction. And that will that could make it this a lot more controllable uh, controllable for somebody who is new to flying, which might be exactly what you want. Um, but if we pull back on the stick, the elevator still comes way up, just like it was before. Um, and that's great because see, we could limit we could limit the movement of the of the elevator in the uh, in the rates and expo uh, feature, but that would that would only adjust the rates in both directions so we would we could say okay yeah i only want it to go you know a certain amount like maybe 30 percent of full rates but it would be the same 30 percent in both directions so um maybe let's say we want let's say this isn't even this is not enough up elevator we want more up elevator so we could go back into our transmitter here and on the for channel two on the on the other side the positive um, we could actually increase that so uh, i'll hold this down so we can actually see it go up and i'll swipe up the numbers we can increase it by 20 percent and actually i can just tap on the middle number and increase it like that so we could actually increase it by 20 percent so it barely goes down and it goes way up. So that would be a uh, just an example there of how you could increase or decrease your throws um, specifically, you know, one, one or the other, one way or the other for any given servo. And then once you have them how you want it, just press the check mark and you can just back out of that and go to the main menu. Now you might be thinking, well, why wouldn't you just have this at, you know, 120% all the time, like to get the maximum amount of throw out of your servo? Well, that's a fair question. I think the reason for that is because when you increase the deflection of the servo, you're decreasing your um, your resolution in the stick. So basically, you can't make as fine of movements with your stick because you you know for every you know every degree moved by the stick, it has to it has to actually 
make a larger movement with the servo. So I think that could be a reason, but like if you want, if you're maybe if you're flying like a 3D uh, style airplane and you want, you know, huge throws and stuff, maybe that would make sense. Um, or if you just need to increase, you know, if you just need to increase the amount of throws a little bit and you just don't care about the resolution, that would work fine. And also maybe you have a model airplane that has landing gear or something and you need the landing gear to come up but you don't want it to come up too far, you know, and damage the airplane. So with the by limiting the endpoint of the servo that's controlling the landing gear, you could have it come up just the right amount and stop and not damage anything. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, let me know, leave me a comment. And if you have more questions, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. If you like this video, if you like Fly Sky stuff, check out this playlist right over here. I made it just for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again very soon.